Peak performance is something that is unique to Colby. There are not any other D3 schools that are doing what we're trying to implement here. Yeah, that was good. All above average, that was good. Having data sciences being at the forefront of all of this, having sports psychology and a nutritionist and having strength and conditioning working as closely as they do with athletic training. We're taking all of these things to help create a better Division Three athlete. Get up. Think about slamming down fast. On the concentric, we should be able to get more force. If we get more force going down. It makes me a better clinician, and at the same time, I get to impact them. We do that because these athletes are also pushing themselves to be better. I think Florida really just set the standard of what we can really do, and ever since then, it just confirmed what I already knew, and that's that we're gonna be able to compete nationally because um, we did it against these really good teams, we beat them. And uh, I think he gave us a lot of confidence going into conference play. Today, you guys came out, you did it, you set the tone for tomorrow. How about okay? Nick Thompson? Yeah! yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, come ready to go win a series tomorrow. Nick Thompson! Mills on three, one, two, three, Mills! So I, I come from a family of, of, uh, of educators, my mom being at the uh, pinnacle of her profession. She was a principal. She taught me everything about leadership, and definitely where I got it from was, was from my mom. He's more than a coach to all the guys on the team, in my opinion. He kind of just goes above and beyond. I think she really showed that leadership starts with care of others. If they know that they care about you, that's the first step towards leading them in the right direction. Man, he's the ultimate players coach, and I think like he knows what each of his players need. And I think the fact that he cares so much, like he really does want what's best for us, no matter what, and how much dedication he has to us, it, it's... It's really unparalleled to anything I've ever had. Nice job, guys. Here we go. I know a lot of people say they owe a lot to, to uh, their parents, but um, I would not be coaching and uh, I would not be where I am today without the lessons that my mom taught me. Um, so try not to get emotional on that one, but... Uh, <laughs> Let's go, <Mielke. laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Um, I would say my favorite part of the year um, was probably our sweep of Bowdoin. <laughs> awesome weekend, you know, everyone stepped up. Those are three really, really big wins. Yeah! You know, first game was a great comeback win. That was awesome. Second game, you know, we came out firing, ended up winning, I think it was 4 nothing or something like that. And the third game, uh, obviously, we beat them pretty good. Jack Flutter's been an integral part of our pitching staff. I just can't say enough good things about Flutter, man. He just goes out there and competes. Yeah! Being the last season here has been great. Couldn't ask for a better group of guys, coaches, everything. It's been awesome. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. And having it being documented, I can go back and watch it whenever I want, so it'll be sick. The funniest thing about Flutter is whenever I block a ball behind the player, throw someone out, he's always like, let's go, Cole, let's go. Uh, he gets so excited, it's awesome. Yeah, Jack is, has been as dominant a, a pitcher as any in our league and probably in all of Division Three baseball. I mean, he's just a strikeout artist. Great job, fellas, great job. That's the best looking broom I've seen in a long time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a day, what a day for us. Great job, fellas. Absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. Now, hey, we put ourselves in a really good position here and we got a great opportunity 
against a top 10 team that's playing well, and they're going to come in here like they're the 27 Yankees, and they're going to run into this buzzsaw right here at home. Okay? So let's make sure that we're ready to go tomorrow. Lots of good stuff today, but how about the whole weekend? Caleb Johnson. Yeah! yeah. Being a senior is definitely starting to kick in. I'm, I'm trying not to remind myself that I'm a senior, I'm trying not to think about the fact that it's the last run. Bittersweet's a good word because I, I love it here. I do not want to leave. I don't want to grow up yet. Like, I want to stay here. They even make fun of me because I'm like, I do not want to leave. Like, I want to stay here. If I could fifth year here, I would love to. Just trying to stay in the moment because I know that if our focus dwindles and we're just thinking about other stuff, then That'll be a detriment to the team and we'll be less likely to win. So just trying to stay in the moment while also knowing what's coming ahead. In order to clinch home field advantage throughout the first round of the playoffs, the Mules have no option but to knock off the number one ranked Jumbos. And what a what a crazy game. It was up and down the whole game, back and forth. They're a really good team, we're a really good team. Last Saturday against Tufts, uh, you know, Cole Palmieri got hurt. Cole's a big part of our team, both from, you know, a production standpoint, but, but also from a person standpoint. You know, when Cole went down, these guys rallied. Henry Suarez got in there and... You know, like, if Cole hits that ball, like, it's probably just routine play, but, you know, Henry's fast little guy. Put some pressure on the defense, ball gets away. Clint scores and we win the game. Like that's just us, like we're kind of a gritty little team and I think we just find ways to win and um, you know, that was an awesome moment for Henry too on senior day, which I thought was pretty cool. Walking off that way, everyone running out on the fields like we know we were celebrating more than just we won one game. We were celebrating the fact that we're not leaving. Go! We're not leaving! Let's go! Hey, let him know how you feel about playing Let's go! You know, this was one of the things that the team set out that they wanted to play at home this weekend. And in order to do that, you got to beat some really good teams along the way. Um, and, and I think it just all kind of came to a head on Saturday when, when, when we had that win. We've got to have a good week of preparation. We're facing a really good team in Hamilton, just like every week in the NESCAC, we faced a good team. Um, these guys are certainly prepared to go out and, and compete against the best and, and play a high level of baseball. So, you know, as long as, as, as we stay focused on what we need to do, I, I like our chances. Next up, with home field advantage secured, the team prepares for the first round of the NASCAG tournament playoffs. <laughs>